Hey guys, I'm Karim Singh and today we're gonna talk about how to stop and killing asteroid by any means. I call this method the creating method or the graffiti method in which we send a spacecraft with a cosmic sized can of spray paint and paint one asteroid white. The sunset will push harder on the more reflective side which slowly makes it far enough to just miss us. Let's say an asteroid equal to the mass of Jupiter is coming hard on Earth and nobody could possibly do something about it. Or can we? Let's find out! But a superhero method. A super plan less than Thanos just made us swing off his arm to move an asteroid bigger like Jupiter. That gave us 0.4 kg of force. Let's say I have to throw that asteroid more light year away, which is 9430 quadrillion. Let's turn what this. We get 31,046 trillion feet. Now let's say a man is out of space, three feet away from that asteroid, which gives us 93,126 trillion feet. Finally, we can convert this in joules, which is 126 quadrillion, 253 quadrillion, 767 billion, 348 trillion, 620 million, 248,000 joules to lift an asteroid by a bare hands of a man. Number 3. What if I tell you that you don't have to fight the asteroid, you can just control it? What if you can send controllable magnetic from the asteroid belt, which will control the asteroid containing iron in it? This is like a sci-fi movie, but it will make sense when explained with an activity. Here the adapter is the magnetic chip that has the capability to control 5 asteroids. So they must have a balanced magnetic force which balances not only the magnet but also all the asteroids. To show the attraction of forces, we will put thread and will connect all the asteroids to the adapter. We will then put the papers and the adapter into the water. So to neglect the gravitational pull we have right now, by this the magnet should pull, push or control the asteroids and by making a chain of linked asteroids, we can stop other rocks by blocking their way. Four. A gravitational tractor! Where we send a 20 ton spacecraft which will fly alongside the asteroid for 10 years and then the mutual gravity will pull off the impact of course. Fair chances are good but if you fail, it might be too late to start again. So I suggest we do a multiple tries. Number 5. Let's take a worst case scenario in which an asteroid is really near to the Earth and we got only one or two months left. At this point we have to put it off. By the hypervelocity asteroid in the step to vehicle. Fragment and fragments here won't work and instead of small bits, one bigger bit is better. The idea is to launch a thermonuclear device. But if it with a very high speed can it is impactor that creates a nice deep space for the nuke to explode. In this the nuke's energy is much more efficient. Sending shockwaves through the asteroid that will break it into small pieces.